This is one of those occasions when I was on the wrong side of the fence from the commentary point of view. Well, they say the onlooker sees most of the game, so I'm going to ask an onlooker. Uh, he's an interested onlooker, mind you. He's secretary of the Ebervale Works General Sports and Social Committee. I'm going to ask him to tell you about it. Now, here's Di Jones. You take over, Di. Well, this is something new to me, but I will do my best to give you a description of what happened on this great occasion, the opening of Abbeville House as the Works Club and Institute. Mr. Harry Padbury, who is the chairman of the Works Club and Institute Committee, spoke first and introduced Mr. Howard Marshall. Mr. Marshall admitted that he'd already had a look round the place. The coffee. The lounge. And last but not least, the bar. And he thought it was a very fine place indeed, and paid tribute to the excellent work done by the committee on behalf of its 3,300 members. Then, after one or two speeches made by Mr. Jim Watkins, chairman of the General Welfare Council, Mr. Ivor Davis and others, and of course the usual vote of thanks, Mr. Marshall was handed the key, opened the door, and there we were. Of course, it was appropriate that Mr. Marshall should open the bar properly. So he drew the first pint and drank it. Down in one, just like that. What a swallow. With the place well and truly opened in such grand style, this meant action for all of us, and quite a number endeavoured to emulate Mr. Marshall's effort. Members can bring their wives and friends, eat and drink, read the papers, or just be generally sociable. I may say, since the club has been opened, it is very well patronised and the general layout appreciated by all its members. Indeed, we are very proud of our club and institute at Ebbervale.